Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at a very cool figure from Dino Storius. If you've been a viewer of my channel for quite a while, you'll know that I am a huge fan of the Dino Storius models. I recently placed an order for two new ones to enter my collection, as I love adding these figures to my collection. They are just absolutely gorgeous, each and every single one that I've ever purchased. This one was one that I've been eyeing up for quite a long time. It's actually a kind of like a cheaper price on their website, so I've always been more inclined to pick this one up but somehow I always skipped it I don't know why and uh, I finally did get a hold of purchasing one and I'm really happy I did because in person it is a beautiful looking representation of a Dilophosaurus this Dilophosaurus has a very unique pose on it with it kind of crouching down or relaxing a little bit something you don't often see portrayed in dinosaur figures every so often you'll get something like this like there was a pose like this with the Despletosaurus from Collect Day and there was actually also a Dilophosaurus that had a very similar pose like this from the Dinosauria Sideshow line however again it's not something that you see very much I mean in all the history of dinosaur models having seen this kind of a positioning of a dinosaur model it's like a handful of times so it's very interesting to see this here from the Dinostorius line. You can also see it comes with a really cool wooden base with a nice nameplate there on the front stating that it is in 135th scale as well. So without further ado, I'm really excited to take a closer look at this with you guys. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Dilophosaurus, you can see some really nice scale detail on the face as well as the nostrils sculpted out right there. Quite a few different variations of green that you can see here as you have lighter and darker tones of green quite beautifully present on the face as well as kind of like a nice light dry brushing it seems in certain spots of a light green and you can also see some pinks and everything showing up which is a very interesting choice color wise for a Dilophosaurus not something you see too often there's also a dark grayish coloration there that kind of borders around the eye as well as the eye being black and a nice white spot on the eye there to kind of insinuate eye shine the crest as well on the head sports some really beautiful detailing to it and it's also kind of painted similarly to what you see there in the face with that light green, also kind of like a dark green stripe that runs through it. Actually, looks like three of them, it seems. And then there's also kind of like a border of that pinkish coloration there on the top of the crest. You can also see the inside of the mouth has been painted with a nice pinkish coloration as well to sort of elaborate the inside of the mouth. Really beautiful sculpt, I will say. It's not like the most appealing paint scheme as far as like these random areas of pink. I'm not a huge fan of the pink on the figure but I think the sculpt is absolutely fantastic and most of the paint as well looks really good you can again see how beautifully painted it is over here really nice very careful paint application to the figure you can definitely see that the Dinostorius line is a very well taken care of line as far as the actual application of their paint nice and carefully done you can also see the upper part of the head here and some nice variations of green up here as well as the pinkish colorations beautiful scale detail inside there as well within the crests of the Dilophosaurus and just generally some nice detailing inside the actual crest as well beautifully done as far as the head sculpt goes once we run back here into the neck region you can see some kind of hanging skin here in the throat as well as a lot of really nice creasing going on in the very long neck of our Dilophosaurus as you lead down the neck you can see just generally how beautiful the actual texturing of the model is again coming down into the body here you can pick up on the shoulder blade a little bit right there lots of really nice color variation and one thing that I really quite like is how the entire back darkens to this nice dark green but you can also still see kind of like that lighter green in between the cracks and creases of the skin and that also helps to make all the scale detail really pop quite nicely up here on the back but then coming down here again into the body you can see the arms are pulled into the stomach region looking very bird like kind of I guess you could say even though birds don't really have arms but the entire appearance of this just really gives me like that very bird like feel with like the bird sitting down having its wings back kind of like if you look at an emu or an ostrich or something similar to that and uh, I really quite like the positioning of the arms and the overall appearance that the arms have kind of curled into the body you can make out the elbow right there the nails are painted quite nicely with a grayish coloration you've got some really nice skin wrinkles going on here in the stomach region again showing off just generally like the movement of the dinosaur as it's sitting the legs are kind of pushing into the stomach sort of scrunching the skin up right there and that's nicely shown within the sculpt of the figure 
the scale detail continues to look really, really good here in the stomach region of the Dilophosaurus. Coming back here into the hip area, you can make out just generally some really nice musculature of the legs and the thigh and calf region. That calf is really bulging. Like You can really see how nice and bulging that calf muscle is right there. Some more really nice color variation again included as you almost have like a brown underneath the green and it's kind of been like dry brushed over with a nice green or given that nice dark brownish wash. It's just ever so subtle the way it appears and it looks really good again giving it some nice color variation. You can pick up on the kneecap right there and then coming down into the foot. The foot is quite nicely laying down here on the ground. It, again it looks really bird like with the way the uh, foot is just laying here. The positioning of the foot. Beautiful sculpt and detail on that foot. Nice transition to a darker green on the foot as well. Similar darker green to what we see up on the back. And the nails are again painted with that nice grayish coloration. Very nice and carefully. You can also see that the dew claw is present there as well. And then coming back up into the body, you can see that this tail on the Dilophosaurus looks really good, has a nice slight curve to it, beautiful scale detail, beautiful texturing. As we lead out the length of the tail, you can see it has some nice dark green stripes, and then once we get to about here, transitions to primarily that darker green for the entire ending of the tail. As we reach the opposing side here, there's not too much difference because, again, sitting down like this, you're not going to see too much difference on this side compared to the previous side. But one thing that is definitely different is you can see the Dilophosaurus is turning its head to the left, so you now have it facing away from where we are looking. And you can again see that the sculpt in detail is just absolutely beautiful on this Dilophosaurus as we move down the length of the neck. Again, lots of really nice creasing, lots of really nice skin texture. You can see again some more hanging skin right here in the lower part of the throat and neck region as well. And then the arm here once again kind of pushed into the body in a really nice relaxed position. Some more beautiful scale detail here in the stomach region as well. Again, the paintwork really complements the figure, really makes all the detail and uh, just generally the sculpt look fantastic and quite realistic overall even though it has like areas of like kind of red splotches and then pink and stuff in the face I still think it's a pretty realistic appearance as far as the actual coloration goes. Again some more skin wrinkles here in the stomach region just like we had seen on the previous side again the detail like I said is probably going to look very similar on this side compared to what we had seen on the previous side, the leg is in pretty much the same position as the opposing side, except it seems like this foot is back a little bit further than that one. But you have that same style of like a crouched kind of seating position with the leg bent, again really displaying the musculature of the leg. Again, the kneecap is present. Beautiful foot sculpt over here as well. Nicely painted nails with that gray. And then coming back into the tail, again, it looks beautiful on this side, just like it did on the opposing side. And you have some more really really nice detailing here on the underside of the Dilophosaurus even the underside of the feet is really nicely sculpted so as far as this Dilophosaurus goes it is absolutely beautiful definitely a great purchase from Dinostorius and then again we have that really nice base with that beautiful Dilophosaurus nameplate right there really nice wooden appearance for the base it's just really beautiful here the underside sports the Dinostorius logo and four circles of a very nice soft material to make sure that your base doesn't move around and it doesn't damage whatever you put it on. Really nice base to go with a beautiful figure. As far as a size goes on our Dilophosaurus for a length, and it's got a pretty decent length to it, you are looking at right around the 11 inch range or about 28 centimeters. And then for a height, if it's on the base, actually we'll take it off the base to give you a very accurate height. But again, being in a seated position, you're not going to see much in the way of a height. You are looking at just a hair above two and a half inches or about six and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the attack back Golovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Dinostorius Dilophosaurus. And you can definitely see next to these figures that as far as the size goes, it's, I'd say, probably about a medium-sized figure. It is pretty small overall, but... The actual length has a pretty significant size to it lengthwise. It's just a very slender and thin looking model as far as the Dilophosaurus goes. It's a thin looking dinosaur and you can really see that here displayed in the sculpt. And again, it almost looks like it kind of has a smaller size, but overall does actually sport some decent size in the length department. So this Dinostorius Dilophosaurus is absolutely beautiful. I feel like so many people seem to forget about the Dinostorius line, and I don't know why, because they create some fantastic dinosaur models. 
they have a significant amount of different species included in their line as well and I own most I would say of the Dinostorius models at this point there are still a few that I need to get a hold of but this Dilophosaurus is one that I kind of waited on and now having it here in person I don't know why I waited so long because it is absolutely beautiful really nicely sculpted showing all the fine detail of the movement of the dinosaur really nice skin wrinkles where there should be skin wrinkles beautiful texturing throughout the entire animal as far as the skin texture goes really nice detailing in the crest as well and it has a really cool appearance to it in the seated position. I'm a big fan of the positioning of the model because it's something that's different, something very unique that you don't see too often. You've seen it, but it's not something that you see come around very often because most times people kind of like that standing dinosaur or like an action pose, some sort of a dynamic pose. Whereas with this Dilophosaurus, we have a nice, very relaxed pose and it's a nice breath of fresh air and overall a really pleasing looking model, something that is very realistic I would say as far as the pose goes. The paint scheme isn't my first choice as far as the Dilophosaurus goes. I like the light green but I don't like the areas of like pink kind of like it almost looks like he has pink cheeks like he has makeup on or something but uh if you can get past the pink in those kind of sort of weird looking red spots that show up within the figure there is some really nice paint application included I do like the tones of green that they've used both the lighter and darker tones of green and the way they've applied the paint all looks really nice natural and quite realistic the model as a whole would definitely be a good choice for a repaint but even with the paint included that we do have here it's still not too bad it's definitely interesting again not my first choice as far as paint work goes but still not bad either so this Dinostorius Dilophosaurus is absolutely beautiful, if you ask me, and definitely a model that I recommend anybody interested in just going ahead and picking up. So make sure that if you are interested, you check the description as soon as this video is over, because I will have a link to take you straight to the Dinostorius website where you can purchase this Dilophosaurus for yourself. So make sure that if you are interested, you do just that, and make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe before you do, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.